Hey, it's me again, this time for the review of the magnificent MGEX Strike Freedom Gundam. This is a master grade that identifies as a perfect grade. This is a master grade with they them pronouns. It's beautiful, it's complicated and it's expensive. I paid 200 euros for this thing. Normally it was 235, but I got it for 200 euros. I could have gone a trip to Amsterdam and get high, but I decided to do a review for you guys. Ain't I nice? Let's see the unboxing. Now look at that beautiful package. I believe all the budget for this kit went into making this box. The lettering and overall kit has more gold than 50 cents accessories. On the side you can see some details about the stages of the build and the content inside the box. And some poses. It looks very premium. Let's look inside. And here's the first stage of the build. It looks really nice, I gotta say. Look at that gold. I painted the mouth and the color metallic blue and metallic Caribbean. I can't get over the gold. I also painted the shoulder and the thrusters. And they can move, they can move too. Look at that! These tiny bits move too on the front here. The metallic stickers on the le leg here look really good. I painted the knees and the thrusters metallic blue. Also look at that movement. I really like how the waist moves here, moving like a supermodel on a runway. I don't have a foot fetish, but look at those feet and all oh, the itsy bitsy details all over the place and they articulate really nicely. Look how these ankles move. And here's the back side and the front side. Truly marvelous, but still it shouldn't be so expensive. Let's take a look at the wings really fast. Look at them. I painted everything except the gold parts. This part is Caribbean blue, the black part is antique steel, and look at that texture. So beautiful, I don't think the camera does it justice. And these parts I painted baby blue metallic. These parts open to reveal the gold and you can move the individual wing, uh, wing thingies too. They can move like a butterfly. Some individual movement. I'm really glad how these colors look. I experimented and I think it worked. And this is how it looks together. 
It's really looking good, really good. But let's cover all those details with white panels. There, it's all dressed up without any work done other than painting. I haven't panel light or applied any water slides yet and it looks good, clean. But we don't like clean, we like dirty. Take a short look at the wings, they look marvelous. And that front, very ominous. With wings straight like that, looks like it's ready to fly. And this is how it looks with some grey subtle panel lining and with all the decals the water slides applied. Not many water slides but still they are enough. I also ruined some silver water slides because they were really fragile and they practically melted in my hands. Uh, I couldn't apply any of them in the right way. So cool and the textures of the metallic blue and antique steel just amazing. That chest and head look majestic. Here's a look at the backside. Look at those metallic Caribbean blue thrusters. I'm such a good painter. And the backside of the backpack looks awesome. Look at the thrusters. Some subtle decals on the wings. Okay, let's take a closer look. Look at that face. And his peepee -pee and those legs. Everything looks magnificent, doesn't it? Let's take a look at the guns here. It opens and I also painted uh, the guns with dark metallic blue and dark grey metallic and some gold vents and it looks awesome. And the texture is amazing. And it attaches on the side of the skirt like that. Those knee parts were matte black, but I also painted them. Look at that grainy texture. The metallic stickers look really nice and that metallic blue of the feet came up very nice too. Beautiful. The chest is my favorite part. You have that grainy black metallic red and Caribbean blue and gold accents look so nice. The vents from inside look very nice, I didn't expect that. And here's the back. Those thrusters, man, look amazing. Alright, now the accessories. First up, the rifles. Also painted Caribbean, uh, Caribbean metallic blue and they look amazing. Best rifles ever. Looks so cool. A short look at the backpack again with some water slide decals. You can see all the details. It's minimal but still enough. The gold accents shine through. A short look at the skirt gun movements.
You can also lower the back skirt and move the guns in the back like that. Looks really nice. Looks like a night's long skirt. And you can attach the rifle gun on the side of the skirt pulling that small peg like that. Looks nice and the rifle is really stable, but I prefer the skirt guns without the rifles on the side. Either way it looks nice. Alright, here are some moving parts. First of the front first in the front of the skirt, it opens like that, it reveals the gold details. And the back of the skirt also opens a bit and it moves up and down. The waist, like you saw, can move like a professional dancer, but with all that side movement, I was surprised to see that the waist doesn't move front and back. Zero up movement, how disappointing. The feet though have no problems, they move back, front, side to side and look at that toe movement. And the most impressive of all movements is the knee movement. Look at all the parts that are involved in this articulation. The top thigh panel and the two knee panels move and reveal pure gold. This is 200 euros worth of articulation right there. The whole leg moves front and back, not too much on the back side though. The arm moves really nicely, good articulation on all the joints. This little shield looking part also moves up and down and full 360, but you have to be careful. The shoulders move up and down and the front panels move too. Those side thrusters look cool and the top here, this individual part moves. And the thrusters come forth. Some nice engineering right there. The head moves really nice, also back and forth in a jazzy, rhythmy way. It also moves sideways. And in a rock and roll metal way. The rifles also have some movement. Here it moves like a shotgun and the handle moves too and the back of the rifle moves also so you can combine them the first rifle humps the second rifle like that and they become one big rifle really cool but I prefer the two separate rifles, so I'm not gonna keep it like that. We still have a couple of accessories, like that shield. You can take apart the red clear part and expose this little peg right there. Look how beautiful the shield looks in the light. But it's really thin and flimsy. So you attach it like that on the arm and then take the red part uh, thingy and shove it on top. 
And there you have it. It's a beautiful looking shield, but I don't think I'm gonna use it. I don't know, I, I'm not feeling the shield very much. And lastly, you have two small energy saber swords thingies. And I don't like them. They feel low quality and cheap. But you can combine them, which looks cool, but the energy soft plastic parts feel cheap, flimsy, and I'm not gonna use them. The wings at least can do this. Moves like a butterfly. And those individual parts move smoothly. And generally, the articulation on the wings is good, so no complaints there. You can also move this blue part individually and pose him with the gold exposed, but I like the blue part, so I'm gonna put them back on. And that's it, no other accessories, but I'm liking that chest and head really much. It looks awesome and those clear parts look awesome too. The whole build was smooth without problems and other than uh, fragile silver water slides I didn't find any problems. I really enjoyed the build but I still don't think that uh, is worth 200 euros. You're going to see in my next videos, you'll see that there are better builds for less of the cost of the MGX Strike Freedom. Yes, it's basically a perfect grade in a master grade form, but it shouldn't be so expensive. And it, it's expensive mostly because I live in Europe and I pay double the price because of customs. If you are near Japa Japan or in Japan, you get it half the price, which is reasonable. So should you buy this Gundam? Yes, you should, if you can afford it. I really like the whole build, it's really nice engineered. I'm going to alternate the Gundam kits. I'm gonna build one week a Gundam kit, the other week a third party kit. I have a lot of third party kits from uh, Mosho, from Inera. Uh, I have a couple more from Daban and I have 30, no, 25 more kits from uh, Bandai, so stay tuned. And that's that. Thank you for watching everyone, like the video if you liked it, and next week I have a special third party kit for you guys. So see you next time, bye!